Alright, hi, so, um, I've, I'm kind of been busy the past few weeks, I'm gonna be busy probably again until, like, the end of May, so this is probably the kind of stuff I'm gonna be making for the time being. I hope that's alright. Alright, um, so we're playing black, I, it, on first look, it looks like we have some sort of, like, checkmate threat. Uh, they although I will say their queen is hanging, so if, if we can make a threat with a pawn move, that would be a discovery, but I don't see, I don't see that being a thing, because <clears throat> as of now, that would just be a trade. Uh, we have, like... D6, E5, which are checks. Uh, which would force them the black king onto the back rank. But there's no easy way, it looks like, to attack that without opening H2 back up. If we move the pawn forward, then we can, like, trade, I guess. Like, we can't get it with a bishop, clearly. We can fork the check and the bishop, though. Yeah, and that'll keep the pawn guarded. That's got to be it, right? All right, yeah. Pretty clean. Next one, um, the rook is hanging. We've got a pawn threatening to promote. First move that comes to mind, ah, oh, that's gotta be right. Queen d4 checking, and forking the king and the rook, and after, hmm, no, it doesn't quite work. My thought was like queen d4, king h1, queen takes rook, which attacks the pawn, but you have like queen d4, queen, oh, maybe it does work. I was thinking queen e2, queen e3 in response, but that doesn't. Yeah, so I was just being a bit paranoid. All right. I hope my couch isn't loud. Um. Next up, we immediately have the bishop under attack by the pawn. I mean, their bishop by our pawn. Uh, the queen's loose. Mm, but it's not great. I don't... We've got, uh, I don't see anything with our, like, knights. Like, there's no good lineups. My throat's making noises. Um, we have, like, some of the things where most of our pieces don't really have a whole lot of options. Like, our pawns are mostly all locked up. Um, the bishop... The only square doesn't get immediately get captured is h5 or by retreating. Neither of those look fruitful. The knight doesn't have any good targets. We do have queen a5. We can trade queens, which drops the bishop. Yeah. right now, pawn takes, bishop, queen takes, and the uh, king, d3, I think, has the mate, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure right now you can't take the bishop with the pawn, because I think black has a mate if you let the queen in. 
but if you trade it off to the side, it's also wrong. Oh, okay. I was just... Okay, nobody even thought of mine. Apparently my I had a bad idea, so... Alright, so... All the pieces are loose here. Our rook's under attack. We can trade rooks. It's probably not the best, given this is a tactics puzzle. We can push it back, checking the king forward onto e2 necessarily. That gives us knight f, I mean knight d4 check. Which will force it on to uh, nowhere, because that's mate. Now, I really thought I was going to have a repeat of the last one. I don't, I still don't fully get what went wrong with that last one, but I can check it after. But we're, we're still moving here. We're fine. Um... So our knight is guarded. I mean our rook is guarded. Uh, we got the pieces on the first and second ranks, rows, whatever, are loose. Pawns look like nothing doing. It's probably another check, mate. Nick the. E knight can move here, so, but it doesn't have any checks. It's not going to get any good checks in. We have lots of, um, good squares with the knights, though, by, I mean, a lot of good squares for the rook to move by the knights. Like, we could go rook f7, which would force it either king h8, which is a checkmate with knight f7, or, but they also have king f8, but you don't, because it's guarded by the e knight. Alright, and that's five games. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm sorry, I, this probably isn't the best content, but this is kind of what I gotta work with right now. Hopefully this is still enjoyable.